What's up guys, Colton That Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to give you a bit of an update as well as a review of the iPod Nano 7th generation, which was just recently released by Apple um, a few months ago, and definitely people picked it up this holiday season, so look out for my review of that but I am going to give you guys an update of just how things will be working these next couple of months. Um, so I'm saving up to buy a um, new laptop to handle my videos, so um, I'm in a bit of a transition period. So I'll be using my iPhone 5 to record as well as edit um, my videos in these next couple of months or weeks or whatever it's going to be. Also, I just uh, got the new H1 mic, so I might be doing a review of that in the future. But I will also be doing um, an intro kind of like the one I'm doing right now in my future videos. So that's just a bit of an update for you guys. So let's get to my review of the iPod Nano 7th generation. So just a quick look at the components inside the package. First up, you will have your Apple stickers, your um, warranty information, as well as your quick start guide with the welcoming hello. So also in the package, we have the new EarPods, which debuted alongside the iPhone 5. Um, you will not get the inline microphone. However, the iPod Nano does support voice memos. Uh, so if you plug in a pair um, with the uh, inline microphone, the voice memos app will appear. Also, we have the uh, lightning connector because the new iPod Nano um, does have the uh, lightning uh, port on it. So you will need the lightning connector, but Apple has provided it for you. So here is the iPod Nano itself. So the iPod Nano does come in several different colors, including the blue, which I have right here, with the white face. And also with the white face, you will have pink, yellow, green, silver, uh, purple, I believe, and uh, product red. And then if you want the black face, you will have to get the black back, as it shows right here. So just taking a look around the device, you can see it is very, very thin. Um, just a tad thinner than the previous generation, which um, I'll show uh, later in this video, but it is very thin. So just taking a look around on the bottom, we will have our lightning port, a plastic cutout which goes into the back for uh, Bluetooth connectivity, and then also we will have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then on this side we have our volume rocker, so we have volume up and down, and then in the middle it's also the uh, play pause. Uh, just like we did with the uh, inline microphone, you have that. Also up here we have the familiar uh, sleep, wake, and on off switch, and then uh, here we have our nice uh, widescreen display as well as our uh, home button right there, which is new to the iPod Touch. So just turning the screen on, you can see we have actually a pretty nice display. It is not a retina display, so that is a, a little bit of a disappointment when you want to watch a video, but who wants to watch a video on a 2.5-inch screen? But I guess it's nice to have if need be. But just looking uh, at the apps, you have music videos, fitness podcasts, photos, radio, clock, and settings. Um... So, clock is uh, basically carried over from the previous uh, generation, which was square, so you could wear it like a watch. So, it's basically all those functionalities that you had in that. So, you have a bunch of watch faces, a uh, little less than what you had in the other one. Um, but then you also have your stopwatch and your timer. And then, settings is basically the same. And so, just to uh, give you guys a little bit of an idea of what we're working with here, we have a 2.5 inch display with 202 pixels per inch, so definitely not retina quality, you can see the uh, pixels on there. Um, and just to give you an idea, the previous model actually was a um, 1.55 inch display, which uh, had 220 pixels per inch, so I don't know why it... Uh, the pixel density went down a little bit, but I guess they might have had to make sacrifices along the way. So just looking uh, at this display, it is very nice that it's now a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You can see I got some Phineas and Ferb loaded up here, one of my all-time favorite shows. Uh, definitely one thing to consider is that 
It's only Bluetooth and headphone compatible, so uh, you won't have a built-in speaker on this device, which I don't know why they didn't include that, because you can watch videos on here, but uh, as you can see, you can't hear anything right now from the uh, iPod Nano itself. You'd have to connect a Bluetooth speaker or regular speaker or headphones to listen to any of that. So you can see the music uh, app is very familiar to an iPod Touch or iPhone user. You can see, uh, you just tap on there, you can see that, you can scrub along there. Also the volume rocker, you can scrub along or use the side buttons up and down. Also just to show you, you can pause with the button on the side as well as holding it down, you can fast forward. Um, and then you also have the choice of repeat single, repeat all, genius shuffle, and then instead of double tapping, you have to um, click right there to see the other um, albums on the list as well as rate the song. So looking at the uh, sixth generation from the seventh generation, you can see things have changed quite a bit. We're kind of going back to fifth generation style on this one um, because this was the uh, first time that the iPod Nano has gone this small on the sixth generation, which was really nice. I actually wore it around as a watch for quite a while. Um, it's a very good conversation starter, but you can see things definitely changed up a lot. Uh, it's nice that they brought video back, but also um, bad that you can't wear it as a watch anymore, because, I mean, I'd wear it as a watch all the time. Um, but uh, you can see things have changed with the uh, square versus the rectangular screen. Uh, we don't have video or Bluetooth on this one, but we do on this one. So there are minor setbacks as well as a lot of good things about the new newer generation iPod Touch compared to the older one. So overall, very impressed with the iPod um, iPod Nano itself. Sorry if I've been saying iPod Touch throughout this video, but it is pretty much the uh, younger sibling of the iPod Touch right now. It is uh, definitely an upgrade from the other one. Nice that they brought Bluetooth. Nice that they uh, brought video back. Um, definitely something you just want to throw in your bag if you're going to a party and you want that favorite playlist you keep on your iPod Nano instead of bringing your very expensive iPod Touch. So, the iPod Touch only comes in 16 gigs of storage as well as the colors that I mentioned earlier in this video. Um, and it'll run you about 149 from the Apple Store. Um, on Amazon, they were selling them a bit cheaper, but uh, that might have changed because of the holidays are over now. So um, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Definitely recommend picking up the iPod Nano. Um, check out my previous videos. No, I haven't put one up um, in a while, but I'm going to get back on those. So... Uh, definitely check out the iPod Nano and my channel. Like this video if you liked it. Um, leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see done on this iPod uh, Nano. And that'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks.